It is go time, my Forex family. This is Sydney Guajardo coming to you live from San Antonio, Texas, and we are the Trading Places. Okay, so what we're going to do is we've analyzed all the um, all the videos. We're trying to be a little bit more efficient so that I could spend more time looking for trades and doing this kind of stuff. We are going to uh, reduce this the training to uh, the evenings um, and this is where you set up where we find deals that are going to set up for the day going into the following day like for instance right now I'm looking at gold if this if this was a forex uh, trading um, pl oh, it's, a tra it's a trading platform but if it was regular forex I would say that the indicators are about to turn maybe a four or five more hours. So that'll, that'll, that trade will take you into tonight. So, um, and we'll find trades like that. Let's say, let's say this one was turning and that one's not, that, that trade may be good for tomorrow. I'll give you trades, um, right on site, what to look for. So, uh, the trades are now going to be, I'll put up a, a sign for the next, um, uh, for the next AM, just in case you don't get this, but the training is going to be reduced to um, Monday through Thursday. There's not going to be any training on Sunday. Monday we'll do an afternoon, Tuesday an afternoon, Wednesday an afternoon, Thursday an afternoon, and Friday there is no trades because the market's closed, and obviously no no training on Saturday and Sunday. So we'll have the trade call is Monday through Thursday at 6 p.m. Central. So this is this is the new one for us. So. And it'll be a little longer than than um, the 20 minutes or so that we have training. We'll go a little longer. We'll start going into technical things like how to use a retracement tool or entries or things like that. So uh, just um, just just be aware that that's going going to happen. So let's get started. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna start putting Fibonacci's up on all the trades now and show direction. So. We just go to the bottom, the lowest part of the screen, which would be right here. We just move it up to the top, including the wick. So there was a um, a trend here, and here's the zero line. Kind of makes it look it bounces. Everything bounces off of here and goes up, or it penetrates it and uses it as support. But either way, this is a some type of trend line here. I like that. I really, really like that. So basically, we have this line here. And it could be a new trend. Uh, but basically, I think the overall trend is long. What's it to 24 today? Okay, so why did this one bounce here? Okay, so it went all the way down and bounced. Let's take a look to see why. Uh, right about there is some type of not an imaginary line, but some kind of support line, it bounced. So if it comes down, if the next candle comes down and it continues this trend to go down, I would wait to take a trade right there at 174, um, 1754, and wait till it penetrates that support line to take it. And then here's another support line, but you can pick up your pips here. But this is all support right here, all in this area. So just beware. Um, but that's what I would do. Okay, let's go to US 30. Let's erase our work. I'm going to do different style of work now. Um, we're not going to pinpoint anymore. We're just going to use retracement lines, which are um, trend finders, right? It's not a trend finder, but it's just a... There we go. Okay, so 
here's the bottom of where it, it, it um, the last time it hit, that was the, the, the lowest low, and this is the highest high of these, the last, um, I don't know, 20 hours, or maybe this is f maybe 75 hours in the last three days. So it's come down, it, it's, it's kind of done like, there's some pattern traders out there called, they call this like a head and shoulders it looks like. And, but it did take a, a pretty bad fall here. It just went, but that's just the way US 30 is. Uh, and this took a, a downtrend, I'd say last, It's been on the last. It's been on a really crazy downtrend the last few days. Now there was a gap here where it started, and it's starting to come down again. But if you're going to take this short tomorrow, or you could take it short today, it's it, there's, it's still trading it. I would I would wait till to get out of the trade right here at the twenty five thousand three hundred mark because it just may bounce off of that and go up. That's what it did here. So it's definitely going to retest that. So just be careful, okay? But um, I don't like being US 30 in it very long. It, I like uh, scalping that. I always make that very clear. So let's go out to Forex. Okay, so I was kind of playing with this earlier. So, <clears throat> so if you're going to take this trade, obviously it's going in a, in a downward trend right here. The last 10, 20, maybe uh, a few hours, but the 480 has not turned yet. Okay, so what I would do is I would wait until... Um, the 480 turns before you take it short and just be careful of your entry uh, this 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 Fibonacci line here is just right at um, 1 12 400 so if it breaks this line here uh, it, it if it breaks it it's going to continue going short it may come here and test it and go back up so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call it short When, when indicators there you go That's, that's pretty cool. Short when indicators turn. I give it today's timestamp. So um, this is really, really cool. I like using this. It just goes over everything. So when I take a trade, like for instance, the last trade I took was, uh, let's see. It was here, NZD, USD. NZD USD and so what I'll do is let's say I'm, I'm going to go into a trade let's say I was in this trade what I'm going to start doing uh, what I have been doing I want you to start doing it is I want you to put a fib line up so you could it, it's good to do that so you could uh, have better entries okay so let me let me give you an example so let's say let's say this this was a trade here well actually it, it looks like it's going to be a trade uh, USD JPY looks like it's going to go in an upward direction here. So, what I'd like for you to start doing is take this retracement tool, and this is the bottom, and you can do it right here as well. And just go to the top, wherever the last line was, the lowest low, go to the highest high. And include the wit, the shadow, and the wick. Okay, so this one here, <clears throat> more than likely, it's going to test up here. So look for the the last spot that you were. It's going to test here, and it's also going to test the highest spot. So if you could take this trade, you may want to take that as your take profit. Let me take a look at this real quick. It's USD JPY. I may take that trade right now. Yeah, so um, 
it looks like it's going to go, but there is pressure to go short. Okay, you have to take a look at this. The day trend is definitely going short. So I would definitely beware on that. <clears throat> it's been going up and then going. So I I'm, have mixed feelings on that one. Okay. Just be very, very careful. But let's finish doing our work. Okay. So it may look at this. You see that? Let me, let me put this on now. Well, we already saw. <clears throat> we already saw the trend. The last trend here is. I'm going to put a line here. So this new trend is long. So I would wait uh, until everything starts to turn because there has been pressure uh, to go short, but everything looks like it's starting to go long here. So I would, I would definitely wait till you get on a really, I would definitely wait till you get past, uh, it, it'll move here tonight for sure. I would wait till you get past the one, one seven twenty, whatever this line is. Let me see if it breaks this, you're good. Uh, let me get erased that son of a gun. I wanted it to be right on there and it wasn't. Yeah, so one one oh seven two twenty. When it breaks that support, that resistance line, I would take it. Now you do have a signal down here to go long, and it did. It's still there. Just once it breaks this, you're home free. A lot of real estate from here to there. Okay, so let's go to the next one. No, I'm going to put a text. Long. When indicators turn, wait for one oh seven There you go. Long when indicators turn, wait for 107, 220 to break resistance. So when it penetrates that and it keeps going, sometimes it'll go past, like up to here, and it'll come back down. Wait till it passes and then go. There's a lot of real estate. Don't worry, it's a good trade. Okay. So let's go to uh, Euro JPY. Okay, let's use our our Fibonacci tool with a start calling that the money tool let's erase this I don't know what that was from okay so it's bouncing right off of this percentage right here it just keeps bouncing and bouncing that means it's in consolidation it's kind of doing the sideways dance and it could break north, I mean south, or it could break north. So uh, let me put a rectangle. And I really believe that the consolidation can went from here all the way down to here. And we're going to call this consolidation. Wait for some. This trade is in consolidation. Wait for some um, volume to gain momentum. All right, good, 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 good. We're all good. Okay, let's go to Aussie dollar. 
Let's uh, erase all this. Because this fib line was from the other day. And you've got to constantly change it. So this, this, this right here is nice. Uh, let me see here. So you have a good starting point from here. And you go all the way up to here. And this one acts like a zero line. Not a moving average, but a zero line. So I would wait for this trade. See, this 71, 78 is a very, very important percentage. It always seems to bounce off of these lines. I don't know what it is, but just keep that in mind. So wait for what we're going to do is we're going to call this trade here. Short trend. Um, and I'm going to say I'm going to wait um, wait to break zero point six eight five seven five. It's a break support. It's too short as entry. Okay, so when it hits, see it it, it bounced off a of sixty-eight seventy-five. So just be aware of that. Okay, that's a good one, but it's a good trade. Let's let's take a look at this. Yeah, it's it's in there. Let me, I took this trade earlier here. Six, yeah, it's definitely moving. 68, 854 is where I got out. It made $55. 68, what? 854. So I was up here when I took this trade, but it's, it's moving. I'd wait till it, yeah. It's a good trade. It's definitely, it's definitely turning. Okay, let's go to, there's going to be some good trades tonight. I can already see it. Pound, dollar. Mm -mm. We're going to keep this. Let's erase all this. Okay, so same thing here. I'm going to call this a short. It's uh, wait till the indicator's turn. Short when all indicators turn. Okay, so I'm going to do that one as this, but as entry. Wait until right about there. So, wait to break resistance. Up, oh, support. Okay, a lot better here. Short when all indicators turn and then wait to break entry. 
one two four zero five for pound dollar. And also, you know what? It says put another one up here. So if it comes down to here. Mm hmm even if it breaks resistance and you take it um, let me calculate something real quick pick up 15 pips right there and if it goes back up it's probably going to retrace and go down there's a lot of real estate here so just just look at that that is a good trade let's go to pound dollar yeah i mean look here's the old uh it even goes down further down to here let me let me do this again hold on i'm gonna redo these entries just to be safe okay guys one second I didn't even notice this. There, I like that better. So it's already broke. It's already broke there. So this would be the new one. This, I like this one better. The percentages were off. No, I mean, there wasn't a percentage. I was off. So... I would already start to take this trade as soon as the 480 lines up in black. It, it, it may, yeah, but you've got a lot of room here. Okay. All right, so let's go to the new one. Let's go to the next one, dollar Swiss. Okay, so let's put up a line, a retracement line. So this one looks like it's going to go long, right? So you start it from here, the tool. Long. Okay, so turn 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 everything's turning dollar swiss yeah you've got a lot um it's definitely going to test here there's a signal there mm -hmm. this is a good one so what you do is you uh take this trade to go long when indicators line up Okay, that looks good. Let's go to the next one. Pound Swiss. Now I think at some point, um, if you look at this, from here to here, brother, that's one big consolidation. And there's no agreement. <laughs> it's been like that for almost two days so what do we do on those we just 
let it ride. So on this one, there's no use of putting a, a you know, a retracement tool to see what's happening uh, because there's no trend. No trend, no agreement. I forgot to put the D. <laughs> I hate when I forget to put the D. Okay, Aussie dollar yen. Hmm. You do have, let me put a retracement tool. Okay, so you have two trends going on here. You have this one. It's definitely a short trend. And this is definitely a short trade. So let's look at Aussie dollar on the MT4. This kind of looks like one big consolidation. It looks like I can go short, but I would definitely wait for this fib line right here. Let's see what this is. You guys, you're going to have to help me see because I'm blind as a bat. Is that 73.269? Let's look at it over here. Now I guess that's this line here. I definitely wait till it breaks that. Once it does, you're gonna be just fine. If not, it's gonna retrace. It said 269, so you could be right there. 270, that's a major line there. So yeah, that covers all of this. So just, just be careful when you go in short because it could bounce up, but that's a very, very good trend line. Just wait till all indicators line up short. All right. Here's the last one of the day, guys. CAD yen. This one was a really big candle. There's no agreement. Uh, kind of agree with it still. There's not really a trade here yet but it will be, just be careful because this is a new low and we're asking it to go past that. So just be careful. Lots of support here. It may kiss down here and go back up. It may go short. We don't know. I have no idea, but I can just call it like I see it. Um, Okay, so it's going to go short. We just don't know how far. And it kissed here a lot. So just be careful. It bounced and then look at that. It just went going. So can you imagine if it bounced and went up again? You'd lose all of this. So just be very, very careful once it hits this um, line here. So, okay, guys. Remember the new training, Monday through Thursday, 
Um, that's it. Six o'clock Central Standard Time. We'll go over some trades, 10, 10 to 15 trades. But that's good for now. We'll see you later. And um, make sure you love your family like you love your neighbor. Go give somebody a hug. And when you do good things, that it builds character, especially when you do good things when no one's watching. So from Trading Places, we'll see you. Adios. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>